Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a little video about Patrick Starr apparently being very shady about Selena Gomez's new brand Rare Beauty. Now this Rare Beauty brand it seems really really popular among like influencers at the moment to review like a lot of the big beauty gurus have gone ahead and reviewed it. There's been Manny MUA, Nikki Tutorials, like I know Jeffree Star tweeted out about he might review it as well but I don't think he is now and then you've had like just smaller people reviewing it as well. It seems like it's a really hot topic, really hot like range at the moment. Now I have got notes, I've got opinions, so let's start. Now this range to me, I had a look at it on the website and it looks like the whole range is a very no makeup makeup type of range you know makeup to just kind of enhance what you've already got naturally not something like me where i like all my bright colors and stuff you know it's it looks like it's all just very light very sort of neutral you know it looks pretty i'm not saying it doesn't look pretty i'm just saying it's all very neutral you know there's not like the bright greens and things that i like but the range does look very sort of minimal packaging as well but one note on the components, the packaging, they've got these like ball tops, which are good for people with arthritis to open. And I know that Selena Gomez said she suffers with lupus and that can sometimes cause arthritis. So these tops being designed in that way is really, really a good feature. I think it's really thoughtful and it's something that not you know every brand will think of so that i thought was really cool but now let's get into what patrick star had to say about the products having watched patrick's review earlier today i can kind of see where some people are coming from with their complaints and complaining that patrick was shady for me i don't necessarily think that patrick was being shady i think there were moments in the review where he did come across as kind of salty and not like Patrick Star doing a normal makeup video or a normal review there did seem to be a few little kind of jabs in there maybe just a tiny bit salty but I, I wouldn't say like really shady you know personally there were moments in the review where Patrick was comparing his eyeliner to like the Rare Beauty eyeliner and putting them side by side um for me that was just informative i didn't find that like shady you know if you're reviewing an eyeliner or product you know buy a brand when you've also got an eyeliner and you're both in the same store like both in sephora for example like this brand you know your competitors so of course you're going to want to say what's better about your product than your competitors you know to me that just seems like natural competition you know you've got to think it's retail it's hard at the moment with corona and everything like that you know people don't have as much money to spend they're being a little bit more careful not only that but you're coming up to like christmas soon you know november december people are going to be shopping for christmas so i can kind of see why patrick might want to put his product to the front a little bit and maybe it's not the best to do it while you're reviewing someone else's brand someone else's line but i can kind of see why he did it you know i don't necessarily think it's a bad thing but a lot of people really really seem to take offense to it especially like in the comments underneath patrick's video some of the comments under there they are harsh girl and i was so bored that i went through the comments and i wrote down a few of them so let's get into these right Listen to this. This has got to be the most biased, bitter, jealous and calculated review, if you even want to call it one, in brackets, in the history of YouTube. What the fuck? Is that person for real? In the history of YouTube, it is the most biased and calculated review. Karen. Anyway, the next one. The hate is real. So disappointing. Be better than this. Okay. Another Karen. And the next one. I'm going to support Rare Beauty. Not one size. This made me dislike you a lot. Okay. 
And the next one. Thicker foundation, question mark. Honey, not everyone wants a cake face and you missed the point of her line. Yeah, okay, we get it. It's supposed to be like a natural beauty line. But, you know, I kind of feel like Patrick was just giving his critique that the coverage is too light for him. It's a critique, it's feedback, you know. To me, that's not something very shady. That's not something to get, like, angry about. But, hey, someone's left this comment. So, let's continue. I think success is going to your head. Come down a little from those clouds. What can you say to that, really? Okay. So, at the time of me recording this video, Patrick's video had 10,000 likes and 11,000 dislikes. So, the dislike ratio is higher significantly which is kind of unusual for a makeup review so i guess people are really really pissed and butthurt about this review i mean personally i don't know if i get it it's a makeup review you know if you're interested in the product you're going to go and look at it you might decide to purchase it if you're not interested in the product then you know if you don't like light makeup like me you know if you prefer heavier style makeup then you're probably not going to look at the brand and you're probably not going to buy it. So for me, Patrick, saying things like the foundation's too light and stuff like that, that stuff is just helpful for me as a consumer to know, like, because I don't want to go and waste my time looking at something or, you know, looking at something online, purchasing something online, if it's not going to be the sort of thing that I want. So, you know, yeah, it's just critique, feedback, Nothing wrong with that. I don't know what you guys think, but personally, like, I'm not really wearing makeup all that much when I'm going out right now because, you know, wearing a mask and stuff. You know, you can do your eyes, you can put a bit of highlighter on, but lips and stuff, I'm not really doing lips and that when I'm going out, just when I'm home or if I'm doing like a creative look or something at home, then yeah, you know, sure. But I'm not doing like a full face at the moment because of the mask. So, I don't know. I don't know, it's kind of an awkward time at the moment for makeup, I guess, because of that, because of COVID and because of everyone wearing masks. But, yeah, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys, if you saw Patrick's review, if you care about that, do you guys think he was being shady at all? Or do you guys just think it's just business and he was just kind of being a competitor? You know, I don't know. Anyway. As you can see, I have finally, finally done my roots and coloured my hair. So glad. It's one of those things. I keep putting it off thinking, oh, it's going to take hours. It's going to take hours. But once I've done it, I feel so much better about myself. And it's like, yes, finally back to my natural, my natural form. This is, this is me now. I use one, um... It's only from like Superdrug, it's a drugstore brand. If you're in the UK, Superdrug, drugstore. Um, I don't know if you get this in the US or anywhere because I know like quite a few of my subscribers are in the US or in Australia. Um, but this is the one that I use, this Colour Freedom. Um, what is it? The It's non-permanent, so it does fade in the wash, of course, like when you wash your hair. But... Sorry, this is really messy, the tube. But that's the tube, so you get... Ooh, lovely, it's got hair attached to it. <laughs> that was me, with my gloves. Mess. Um, yeah, but that's the one that I use, the green emerald, and it comes out like this. I naturally have very dark brown hair, so of course I bleach it. But this tube, you get... What is it? Quite a lot in there trying to see if I can find the thingy the amount that's in these tubes because it's really quite a lot oh yeah there we go 150 mil so it's quite a lot in there that you get and these are like what are they about six or seven pounds I think in super drug but they usually have an offer on where you buy two for ten pounds so it works out a little bit cheaper but a tube like that I can get like what three applications out of because my hair's quite long now i used to be able to get more but because it's so long now it's it's about two to three applications out of a tube like that so really it's not that bad for me 
I think it's quite like affordable you know I'm not someone who can afford to go to hair salons and get this kind of thing done you know nails hair I do that kind of thing myself at home I always have you know just because it's more affordable for me you know and that means that I can you know treat myself to a bit of makeup sometimes rather than you know spending money on my hair and my nails so today I've used the Audrey palette for this brown and this creamy colour here and then I used a little bit of where is she gone my little mini controversy is that her yep that's her I used a little bit of the green this green here is from the mini controversy palette it's just that one in there the put it back shade so I've used a little bit of that and then on lips I've got a little bit of the where are you gone there we go that weirdy green no offense lipstick with a little bit of the sky high gloss and a little bit of where is it the lip liner oh there we go that one a little bit of the crocodile tears it's the green jeffree star lip liner so that's what i've used on my face today and then these lashes were just a drugstore pair again from superdrug because i love superdrug you know i can go in there and i can find so many good like beauty supply things stuff like that and it's you know it's nice because it's like affordable as well super drug or savers is the other one that i go to i don't know if you've got that in the us or anything or in australia or anywhere else in the world but savers is good because it's like super drug but slightly cheaper so budget friendly and on that note i am gonna leave this video here hope you're all doing well hope you're all having a good week so far and i just want to say take care stay safe stay well thank you guys so much for watching and also thank you guys who've been supportive this week like i had a couple of people reach out to me and that was really really nice like i was having a really bad day the other day and a couple of people reached out to me just to let me know like that they were there for me and honestly like that meant a lot genuinely that really meant a lot to me so thank you to those people and yeah i'm gonna disappear now so have a good evening take care Mwah. bye guys